Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So, today I'm going to take a trip to the near end of Germany. I'm going to do some testing uh, about a small debate that has been going on, and people are going to go on holiday uh, pretty soon in the summer. So, I'm going to test what is the quickest driving 120 kilometers an hour and charging less or driving 160 and charging more. Let's see what is the most efficient. What I've noticed is that I've put my summer tires on that. Those are the 21 inch Aragonets with uh, Michelin Pilot Sport 2s on there. Um, and the temperature is currently 13 degrees Celsius. Um, and I must say this is really a difference um, with the past few weeks in view of consumption in the sense that I've charged up to get to about 430 kilometers indicated range. I've done 82 right now. And uh, according to the uh, trip meter, I still have 391 kilometers left on uh, the battery. So yeah, temperatures are indeed getting a lot better now and uh, getting a decent range at highway speeds is no longer an issue as it is during winter time when the battery needs to be heated the car is heated so now even the um, the the air conditioning is not yet working uh, because it's not too hot in the car um, so yeah basically more or less ideal conditions uh, to do our trip today and to get some decent range out of the battery So I'm now at the Erfstad supercharger, I'm uh, charging up to about 50%. So when I arrive back here, I don't have over 50% charge left. Um, I have this route uh, plotted right now, uh, which takes me about 30 kilometers away from here. So that's a 60 kilometer round trip. Then we'll charge up to 50% again. We'll do that at 120 kph and we'll try to do that at about 160 kph and then we'll see if we add the driving time and the charging time together which one is going to be faster to get to your destination if you want to travel longer trips uh, especially through Germany where you can actually legally drive uh, over 120 kph so yeah so I need to charge up for not that much um, about 10 minutes remaining and then uh, we'll do our first round and then we'll come back, charge up and do the second one.
so we are currently at our turning point doing 30 kilometers in 18 minutes so that seems kind of okay in terms of average speed now we need to turn around and get back to the supercharger That's not good. It's been a serious accident apparently. That indeed does not look good. So I'm back at the supercharger now and uh, we've got an average consumption of 209, 62 kilometers done. Anyways, it seems that now we are down to 161 kilometers. Uh, so let's charge up again to, um, let me see what that is in percentage, uh, language units, energy. So. That actually means 35% from 50 to 35. So that's 15% for that trip. Let's see what the uh, 160 kph run does for that. Okay, I'm now at the turning point again, so I just have to get back to the highway. Hopefully that uh, accident has already cleared. And then we go back to Erfstadt Supercharger. Um, traffic is a little bit too busy um, to be a very good consistent test, so I'm ramping up my speed wherever I can to still get the average of 150, 160. Um, so yeah, the accident is cleared. So now we just need to get back on the highway. So when looking at the uh, videos for the first one at 120 kilometers an hour uh, or the attempt at least um, I did 39 minutes in total including the section here with the traffic lights and I charged for 11 minutes so that's a total of 50 minutes with the second trip where I tried to get an average of 150 160 um, it took me 34 minutes to get here and a 12 minute charge uh, to complete so that's uh, 46 minutes in total and that's a difference of 8.7 percent so that's close to 9 percent uh, faster to drive 160 instead of um, 120 so yeah uh, driving faster and stopping 
with a lower charge state of charge um, is going to get you to your destination faster at about let's say eight percent uh, to round it down a little bit thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye bye